Hi, class. Thank you. Hello, class. Can you hear me? Yes. 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 Okay. I, I, I'm sorry. I don't know what happened, but the host. I I had like this big black box of the host. Maybe it was from the previous class. So how are you? I fine, thank you. Thank you. Is it raining? Mm. No, right. Not here. It sounds like somebody to somebody was raining. I, how, I am my host. Sorry. How how was your Tuesday today? Uh, very busy. Was it productive? Did you have a productive Tuesday? Yes, Chair. All right, good. Let me open the... Let me open the platform. Okay. So yesterday we were practicing simple um, present perfect and simple past, correct? Yes. Yes. What is what is simple past? Do you remember? Mm, the simple yes. past is when the activity is start in the past and finish in the past. Okay, good. The activity no longer exists. Very yes. good. What is the present perfect? Present perfect is active in action, uh, active in the past, in action in the present. Okay, I'm sorry, the action active in the past? No. Uh, present perfect is when um, I use when active in the action in the past. Uh, no, active. In the past, in action, in the present. Okay, yes, it's actually the action started in the past and continues to the present. It's still active. Yes. Yes. Okay, good. All right, good. Let me see, everybody's here. I don't know why. Is your internet slow today? My house, yes. Yeah, yeah my, it, my, it's very slow right now at this moment. My it's probably because it's raining. It's ra really, where is it raining today? Yeah, in, in down here in Santa Ana is a little. Man, I wish it rained here in, in San Salvador because it's very hot. Okay. All right. So let me see. Let me open them. Okay, so let's do it. Does everybody see my screen? <clears throat> yes. Okay, it says, it says complete the news uh, the news story with the present perfect or past tense from the verb in parentheses. Just type the verb in brackets. No capital letter or period is needed. Number one, a group of thieves blank. The verb is steal. The dragon's eye ruby from the grand gallery.
What did you put here? Stolen, teacher. Stolen. Have or has? Has. Has is stolen. Has stolen. Has stolen. Good. Last night at about 1 a.m., the alarm went off. Get off. Went off. Went this off. is this is really simple past because there's no option. Last night. Go. Ah, go. If it was today, maybe it could be present perfect. Today the alarm has gone off two times. Okay, number three, it says police blank. Rush to the building immediately. Rushed. 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 What is no. that sound? But, but they were. They were too late. Where? Yes. Yeah, I'm sorry, class. I don't know if some. Okay. Someone's watching TV or something. If you can please lower the volume. Okay, no. Forget it. Forget it. It's over. Okay. Right after learning of the robbery, the mayor. Set. Set. Yeah, the past of set is set. Yes. The mayor set up a telephone hotline. <laughs> Three people blank so far, but the police are still looking for further information. Have called. Have called. Three people have called. Called. Hi. They believe it is probable that the thieves have, have left. left. Have left the city. Yes. A curator of the curator of the Grand Gallery has offered. Has offered. Five uh, fifty thousand reward for the information leading to the capture of thieves. Let's see if this is correct. Oh, left. I've left. All right, good. So uh, da, 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 da. we understood that, right? We understood simple past and simple. Um... Um, let me see. Let's talk about something that is going on in El Salvador. I, I have a question about the, the exercise. Yes, Marisa. Yes, in the first sentence, is a group of thieves. Mm -hmm. So it is in plural, right? Uh, good question. No. Thieves is plural, but group is one. Ah, uh, so that's the reason. That's the uh, reason. Yes. Good question. Yes. Uh, okay. Thank you. You're welcome. That's why it says a group of thief. It's one. So in this case, we're not talking really about the. Th yeah, we're talking about the thieves, but it's more the a group. One group. Okay, do you understand? Yes, I got it. All right, cool. Those those are tricky words. Those are some, um, for example, class, do you know the difference between how much and how many? Yeah. Yes. yes. What is how much? How much is uncountable? And how many? Uncountable, uncountable. So we use how many for 
Colors. Countable and how much for non countable? Yes. So, for example, if I say apples, what is the question? How many? How many apples? How many apples? How many apples? How much water? How much water? Why? Because you, because it's non countable. You can count the the water like like the, okay. the element like the element. What Except about money? If you are talking about a glass of water. In this oh, case, so, if, yes. If, uh -huh. In this case, yeah, you can do it. Yes, because you're, you're referring to the units. Yeah. Wow, who is riding a motorcycle? <laughs> who is in class? Who, who is receiving class in a motorcycle? What about money? Is money countable? Yes. Yeah. You know what? Money is not okay, countable. Sorry, but money, no. No. Exactly. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, yeah, you know, many people, that's that's very good. Many people get confused. Are you have a money yes. is countable because I have three dollars? <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, you have three dollars. You don't have three monies. Yes. So, mm -hmm. yes. So money, the word is not countable, but the units are. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what like are the a moneda? Like the coins, yes. And bills. Yes. I, that's, what, that's what many people say. No, teacher, but countable money, you see, that's that's where you have to like stop and think a little. You count money, yes. You count one, two, three, four, five, six. But grammatically, money is not a word. I mean, it's not countable. The word money. The units, um, it's countable. Um is is correct tell how many dollars yes okay mm -hmm. yes how many dollars did that cost you yeah okay. all right good so let's continue with so milton you work in text to feel correct Yes, teacher. Yeah, you see, I remember. Yes? No, I don't remember. I see your shirt. <laughs> okay. <laughs> big, big um, marketing right there. Advertising. Class, in this case, is, is this publicidad, publicity or propaganda? Publicity. 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 Okay, when do we say propaganda? When you are uh, selling something? Uh, no, not really. Is that politic? Politic. For, for a politic uh, fine? Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm fine. <laughs> yes. But you can make a propaganda for an article, for an outlet too. Well, actually, propaganda is only for politics and religion. Yeah. Okay. Only. Yeah. But you know, some people say it wrong. If I have a, if I have a, <laughs> if I have a McDonald's shirt, people say, "Ah, oh, stand up, propaganda, McDonald's." It's not propaganda. It's publicity. Publicity. Propaganda. <laughs> Propaganda, if it's maybe if I have an Arena shirt, an FMLN shirt, a New Orleans shirt, that, that's, um, or the new shirt in the future, Arena and FMLN together shirt. <laughs> propaganda is like in Spanish? Yeah. Yes, it's in Spanish, but in fact, even in Spanish, también, propaganda is okay. only for politics and, and, okay. and um, religion. Okay. And the rest is then there is uh, publicity. Sure. Okay. Yes. What, what about the word campaign? Campaign, like a political campaign. Is is only used for quality? No, no. Um, campaign is is an event. Okay. But it's not only political. A campaign can be. Let's have a campaign to pick up the garbage on the beach on Sunday. That's a okay. campaign. Thanks. Yeah. Good question. Um, but campaign is an event, like donate blood campaign. Yes. 
All right, so let's go to the next. Oh, present perfect continuous. Okay, so now that we understand, we understand present perfect. Remember what I was telling you yesterday? Now we're going to mix. We're going to mix. We understand simple past. We understand simple present perfect. Do you remember what is present continuous? Yes, it's uh, when, I, when I use the uh, e, e, ing form in the, in the principal verb. Good, but mo what else? There's more important things in that. Yes. How we think that this is still happening? It's happening. Yes, the action is in a con the action is in progress. Hay yes. otra gente que le dice este este tiempo. A mí me gusta más ese. Mm -hmm. Present progressive. Mm -hmm. I like it more because the action is in present and in progress. Mm -hmm. But the majority of people say present continuous. All right. So look here. The are my action. No Excuse me, teacher. The yes. action is in present and is progressive. It's in progress, yes. Okay. These are my notes here that the, 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 the words I frequently forget when I interpret. Oh. Por ejemplo, Papa Nicolau. Uh -huh. El examen de Papa Nicolau. Yeah. You know, Yo aprendo mucho también con doctores when I interpret. Yeah, so sometimes when I forget the word, I have it here. You have the police application. Yes. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I, but then after, I, I sometimes I don't even do it because I remember. No, I okay. <laughs> but listen, what verb is this? There's one thing very important about present uh, continuous. What verb is this? Green. You 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 eating you eating the coffee. I can't eat coffee. No, you are drinking. Drinking oh, coffee. Drinking coffee. Okay. Drinking coffee. Yes. Uh, okay, yes. what what verb is this? You what? you're taking, taking, taking a picture. picture. You're you're taking a picture. Okay. Mm. What verb is this? No, okay, good. You are laughing. You are laughing. 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 Okay. Teacher, I have a doubt. Yes. Um, last class, I don't know if it was yesterday or Friday. You said I ate soap. And yes. What is the correct? Is I ate soap or I drink? So that's kind of like a big controversy because soup you drink and eat. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Unless it's really like only caldo, mm -hmm. broth, you drink. Okay. But yes, that's not, even in Spanish, it's confusing. What did you eat today? Oh, I comí sopa or tomé sopa. Tomé sopa, uh-huh. Yeah, but we use both. In, that, in, this, in this case, we can use both. Okay. okay, okay, class. What verb is this? What? Repeat, please. What verb is this? Bus. <laughs> I can see. Thinking. Bus. Thinking. Bus. <laughs> Thinking. No. Thinking. Oh. No. Let's do it do again, think? please, teacher. I can see it. Repeat again. Your position Watching. is, is it in? I don't know. Smiling. Smiling. What verb is this? Confused? No. It's, I don't know. Good. You don't, you will never know. I want to go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Me too. <laughs> but look, there's a reason for that. There's a reason why I chose that verb. What verb is this? One more time. Popping. No. Drinking coffee. Drinking. Drinking why, coffee. Why, why do you assume it's drinking coffee? You have a uh, cup. You have a uh, cup. Drinking beer. You, <laughs> me, you prefer drinking coffee every night? Oh, man. I, yes. I tell people, if you love me, give me coffee. Uh, 
But you said the verb was drink. You know why? Not because you saw the cup. You saw the verb. You see the verb. The action. Smoking. You're smoking. Yes. You're a smoking. You're a smoking. Yes. You see the action. <laughs> you see the action. So if you see the action, that means the verb is an action verb. If you don't see the action, the verb is not an action verb. So then the verb, no ing. Okay, so okay. I, you can't say I am wanting. Mm -hmm. You can't. Yes, because it's, it's an emotion. Yeah, y saben que de hecho yo But, but for creo... example, love? Wait, uh -huh, yeah, hold on. Yes, that's love and think. We're going to talk about those two expressions. ¿Quién trabaja en una universidad acá, me dijo? Me teacher. He, uh, yes. Can you do me a favor? Can you one, one time talk to uh, this? Do you have a Spanish teacher or the idiomas? Or literatura or something in, in, oh, in the university? Katia. Katia. What? Well, maybe. Can you ask that? Because I am very sure that in Spanish, también no es correcto decir yo estoy queriendo. No. It's no. not. The correct way is yo quiero. Yeah. Pero si uno, nosotros hemos hablado así antes. Desde hace rato te estoy queriendo ver, hablar. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, we understand, but grammatically, it's not correct. So, want is not no ing. Need, no ing. Hey, mira, conoces algún diseñador? No, es que estoy necesitando un diseñador. You can't say needing. Okay, now, um, Maritza said love. Grammatically, Maritza is not correct. Loving. But, but popularly, yes, you can say I am loving you. I'm still loving you. Okay. Scorpions. Okay. Yes, I have heard that in many songs that word. Yes, but remember, grammatically, it's not correct. Now there's another there's another example. Think. What is think? Thinking. Think has two thinking meanings. About things, eh? Okay, yes. Thinking has two meanings. Thinking about and think that. Mm -hmm. When you think about, obviously is what everybody would think. Think is pensar. And the other one is, yo creí que. Yeah, when you say think that, it's an opinion. O puede decirse también, yo pensé que. I thought, yes. Uh -huh. It's an opinion. For example, this is the correct form. I think Bukele is a good president. Or I think Bukele is a bad president. Is the correct form. Okay. I think that Bukele is a good or bad president. This is not correct. I think about Bukele is a good president. No, then that's a different meaning. I think that is an opinion. I think about is really think. <laughs> okay. So in this case, when it's an opinion, you can say I'm thinking. Okay. Is grammatically correct. Yes. Okay. Who watches Stranger Things? Me. Who? Milton. Sirham. Sirham. Oh, Sirham. Oh, yeah. I, I love, I, I am a big fan of, of but you know yeah. what? I see that season five is in 2024. Yes. So I am thinking 
remember season one and four is is on the 80s yes so now i am thinking season five maybe is going to be the 90s because the children so. are too big the children are yeah. big now so maybe i think that they will say 10 years later or five years later you know maybe maybe it's possible yes now that you see i'm thinking i'm giving my opinion okay class so remember simple present continuous is an action in this moment the action is in progress and we use the verb in ing but only if we see the verb the verb is an action verb if we don't see the verb there's no action okay okay cool now let me see let me see so Sidham, where are you, Sidham? Oh, Sidham. Yes. What is the definition of present perfect? Present perfect is the activity. Uh, the action starts in the past and continues in the present. Okay, what is con present continuous? The present continuous is the, is the see the action or the action yeah. is in, in progress. The action is in progress. Yeah. So what is present perfect progressive? It's the same. It's the, it's the same. Mm, oh, now let's mix. Yeah. Think about it. Or class, if you want to help them, please tell me. So you said that present perfect is an action that started in the past, continues to the present. And then you said that present continuous is an action Probably. that is in progress. So those are two different tenses. Now we're going to mix. We're going to mix. So the, the present perfect progressive uh -huh. is and the action start in the past and is progressive okay. in the present. Exactly. Present perfect progressive is an action that started in the past progressively and continues to the present progressively. A perfect example. Imagine it's raining. It started to rain at seven today. So I say it has been raining for one hour and a half. Do you understand that? Yes, so that means that when yeah. the rain started, it hasn't stopped and continues. Yes. That is present perfect continuous. Hey, that was very good, Marcela. All right, what is another example? Oh, the typical. Maybe who else? When you call your son, your husband, or your wife. Hey. Teacher. Always, uh, always should use um, has been and have been. Yes. Hey, I just it, learned. It, I just learned something new from my telephone. Oh. Look, I moved it, and then the the if you move it, the 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 camera opens. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> Yes, it's it use, use have and has. Well, the reason why I was going to say your telephone is, have, have you ever had that problem that you call that person, man, and they never pick up and it's an emergency? And then you call five minutes later, they still don't pick up. And then you send them a message, a WhatsApp, and they don't pick up. And then you get very angry. And one hour later, they finally, I know what do you want? Man, I have been calling you for one hour. Is that present, present perfect progressive? Yes. 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 Because for one hour, you have been calling and calling and calling and calling. Mm -hmm. All right. I have been married 
10 years. Is that present perfect progressive? Yes. No. Yes. No, right, Marielos, why not? No. I have been married. Mm -hmm. Mary, Mary. That's, that's that's simply present perfect. I have been married ten years. Simply, that's only present perfect because there's no that's verb with I and G. Married, okay, yes. Married, yes. I have been studying English for a lot of time. Very good, all right, nice. How long has the police been arresting Mareros? For three months. For three months, yes. <laughs> the police has been arresting Mareros for three months. All right, cool. Man, they, they are good, the tactics. Because I live, do you know Colonia Vista Hermosa? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So, yeah, by the by Hawara, Paso del Hawara. Yes. A little bit down the street, there is a restaurant. It's called El Basurero. Yes. And then there is like this neighborhood in there that is not very good. So one day I was, you know, I was going outside my house and when I saw it, Paso de Hawar, I saw many policemen with the army. Man, what's this? So they were in that corner and then in Huizucar, you know that un mirador que arriba? Yeah. There were more, there were more policemen with the drones. Right. And then by, by Hermano Lejano, there were more policemen. So they were getting all the mareros in that zone. And wow. no, but I was watching like, hey, that's so cool <laughs> because the, the 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 logistic. They were ready with the drones, even if they escape, they 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 couldn't. Mm -hmm. That was cool. I wanted to take pictures. <laughs> <laughs> like, all right, okay. So let's let's okay. Do you have questions or doubts? But do you more or less at least? 70, 80%, do you understand what a present perfect continuous is? Yes. It's simple. It's like I told you, if you know present continuous, if you know present perfect, then you will know present perfect continuous. Yes. How long has the baby been crying? Is that present perfect continuous? Yes. 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 Yeah. Remember, mothers and fathers. Remember, it's normal that a baby cries, right? It's normal. Yes. yes. But when mm -hmm. it's one hour, two hours, and the baby continues crying, that's not normal. So that's when you call the <laughs> the, the you call the doctor or you go to the hospital. Yeah. And you know, look what happened. My baby has been crying for two hours now. All right, so let's look at, let's see the video. Let's see. When do we use the present perfect versus the present perfect continuous? Is the following question the same as in the previous section? Listen carefully. How long have you been studying English? Use the present perfect continuous to describe temporary situations and actions that are not yet completed. The present perfect describes permanent situations and recently completed actions. A dog has been stealing all the attention. Temporary situation. I've always surfed with my dog. Permanent situation. Mai has been amazing visitors by painting for her supper. Not yet completed action. I've locked my keys in the car. Recently completed action. Use the present perfect with the passive or with stative verbs such as be, love, and have. He's always loved it. Present perfect versus present perfect continuous. When do we use the present perfect tense?
We use the present perfect tense to talk about things where there is a connection between the past and the future. For example, he started writing books at some time in the past. So far, he has written 16 books. He may write more books. Let's go over some sentences. I have painted the living room blue. The focus is on the result. The activity is finished and we can see the result now. Now let's go over this other sentence. I have been decorating the house this summer. The focus is on the action, decorating, and the action is unfinished. In other words, we can say that we use the present perfect continuous when the focus is on activity that is unfinished. Let's see more examples and analyze them with me. I read the book you lent me. I finished it yesterday. The present perfect I read gives the idea of completion. I've been reading the book you lent me. I've got another 50 pages to read. The present perfect continuous I've been reading suggests that something is unfinished. She's been writing emails for three hours. The present perfect continuous has been writing talks about how long something has been happening. She has written 10 messages. The present perfect has written talks about how much or how many have been completed. I've worked here for 30 years. We can use the present perfect to talk about how long when we view something as permanent. I usually work in LA, but I've been working in San Francisco for the last three weeks. The present perfect continuous is often used to show that something is temporary. Can you tell the difference now? Did you understand it? To make sure you did, type on our discussion box some examples using both tenses. Okay, there's one thing I don't agree with there. I don't agree because it says it's a connection with the past and the future. No, no one can predict the future. Yes, in grammar. The, the future is always a probability. So present perfect is something that connects the past to now. That's Okay. Miguel, hello. Hello, teacher. Miguel, how long have you been? How long have you been working in your company? Maybe I he's not actively physically working in the company right now, but actively, yes. Yes. Um, I had been working in the company. Sorry, teacher, I, I call, I have a call, teacher. Uh, no, okay, no I'm problem, on. no problem, no problem. Okay, no problem. Milton, how long have you been working in text to fill? I I have been working at Tech to Field for 20, 24 years. Okay, wait a minute. Yesterday you told me that you worked in another company for 20 years. Yes. No, no. How old are you? Yeah, at Tech to Field, uh, 24 years. Oh, okay. You have worked in text field 24 years. Yes. In another company, only 10 years. Oh, okay. All right. And what do you do in text to field uh, I, I work in uh, marketing. Oh, marketing. Nice. Marketing. Nice. In the marketing area. Very good. Yes. All right, Sarah, how long have you been working in TALUS? I have been working for three months. Is that your first job in a call center? No, it's my third job in a call center. Oh, okay. Juan Jose, JJ, how long have you been studying English? I have been studying English um, for 12 months. For 12 months? Okay, good. 
Sirham, where are you in, in your house in this moment? Kitchen. Wow, you have a nice kitchen. Thank you. I like your kitchen. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, it's not a background. <laughs> it's really your kitchen. No, it's, it's really a kitchen. Oh, okay, it's a very nice kitchen. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> How long, where do you live? Uh, I live in Quetzaltepec. How long have you been living there? Uh, I I living. I have been living. I have been living at two thousand six. Okay, good. Can everybody tell me something that you that has been happening in your life recently? Like, for example, I'm going to give you an example, and you tell me something about you, real quick. I have been having problems with my neighbor because my block in my house, the block, the block of my house is only maybe eight houses. But I have a terrible neighbor that she loves cats. That's not a problem. The problem is that every day she puts a big plate of food for the cats. So one day you open, I counted 26 <laughs> cats. Wow. Oh. Wow. Uh -huh. She so, loves cats. No, no, but you know the problem? She doesn't have cats in her house. Mm. So in now, another house. Yes, and, and the problem is that I am extremely allergic to cats. So then the cats, now this is their home, my block. And they go into the house, you know, they, they come into my garage, they sleep under the car. And every time I open the door, like <laughs> five cats jump out of <laughs> under my car. So I have been having this constant problem with my neighbor. And um, yes, we spoke with her. But she says that we are the bad people because we don't, we, animals are children of God and whatever, whatever, whatever. And I said, that's not the problem. Can you imagine the smell of the cat in my blog? Yeah. It's terrible. Yeah. So that's what's been going on in my life, a, a, a progressive <laughs> action. What about you, Sergio? Can you tell me something that has been happening with you? Um, let me see. In my case, I I have been feeling a pain in my neck uh, for two G, for two days. I don't know what what what's wrong. <laughs> Maybe it's stress. It's possible. Yes. You know what I recommend you sleep on the floor for take a nap on the floor like for ten minutes. Oh, thanks. That's a good idea. Yes. I'll try it, something. <laughs> you know, like 15 years ago, I had a terrible accident that I fell from a roof. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah, and um, I tried everything and I had this terrible back pains, terrible, until I started sleeping on the floor. But really on the floor, like just a pillow. Wow. The first two, three days, it will hurt. But when you wake up, you feel like, Ah, oh, you crack everything like oh it feels very relaxing <laughs> yeah i recommend no, you if you're ever stressed no try it one day try it with a nap try, uh, try a 10 20 minute nap if if it works then sleep one night like that maybe i guess i guess the firm surface is, is good yes. for your uh, the doctor recommend me recommended me that okay it, it's good sounds interesting Yes, try it one day. All right, let me see. Katya, oh, how is your COVID? It's good, teacher. But you look very nice for having COVID. <laughs> it's over. Oh, it's over. All right, so tell me something that has been happening in your life. In my life, I have been traveling. Tra I have been traveling a lot. Oh yeah, really? Where, yes. where to? Uh, wherever, <laughs> wherever I want. The, 
the last travel was seen um, in Cancun. Okay. But the last travel, no, travel is the verb. So you say the last trip. Trip. Okay. In Cancun. The last trip was in Cancun. Wow. Yes. Business or pleasure? Pleasure. <laughs> All right, cool. And nice, nice. All right, what about you, Jacko? I like your, is that your name, Jacko? Mm, you see, it's Hako. Yeah, Hako. But yeah. <laughs> I like that name, Jacko. <laughs> Thanks. It sounds like a, you know, like Bono, Bono, Sting, <laughs> Jacko. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah. tell me something that has been happening in your life recently. Um, sorry, repeat, please. Tell me something that has been happening in your life recently. Mm. Uh, I think uh, when when uh, when how much how much is not there. Wait, wait, listen. No, don't complicate me. Don't give me like a, a, a philosophy story. It's just something like, remember, let's keep it basic. Remember, okay. Katya says, I have been traveling a lot. Okay. I said, I have been having problems with my neighbor. Um, who else participated? Sergio said he has been having pain in the back of his neck. What has been happening in your life recently? Okay, I when when uh, when when my last <laughs> travel is was to Mexico. Mm -hmm. uh, I I have I have uh, I have traveled. No, I have been I traveling. Have, I have been traveling to Mexico for for a for a business uh, in my work. Uh, do and, and it's it's very nice. Okay. <laughs> uh, have you seen Katia there? What? Have you ever seen Katia in Mexico? No, I. Oh. Uh, uh, she, uh, we we travel in different moments. <laughs> okay, good. We have travel. Okay, good. All right, good. Who can give me another story? What about you, Mayra Asensio? Are you there or Irena? I'm here, coach. Teacher. <laughs> tell me, tell me. Well, in my case, I have been doing two things. I have been painting my house for two years. For, and then I have been practicing my English pronunciation due to something is difficult for me. Pronunciation is difficult for you? <laughs> yes. You know, you know, to be honest yeah. with you, you have pronounced, remember I told you there's three things that you have to have? Do you remember the three things? Uh, you need to have grammar, comprehension, and pronunciation. Las tres cosas esas niveladas. Uh, sometimes yes. people are, yeah, sometimes people are very good in grammar. They're okay in comprehension and they're very bad in pronunciation. Or sometimes it's like this, or sometimes like this, like this. So you want to have it, the curve, you know, mm -hmm. like this. And pronunciation is the easiest thing. How do you practice your pronunciation? Well, um, with music in English. And uh, sometimes I watch a TV program. Okay. And I repeat the words. Okay, this is a tip. When you practice uh, pronunciation, say it in syllables. Have you ever heard a gringo 
Primera vez, un gringo europeo, whatever. What is this? Pupusa, what? Pupusa, do you like pupusa? You can't pronounce. Correct? Correct. One week later, maybe pupusa. Two weeks later, pupusa. One month, hey, let's go eat pupusas. But do you see that 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 evolution right there? Pupusas, pupusa. Why? Because you repeat, you repeat. So what I recommend to you, Maida, when when you find a word that is difficult to pronounce, break it in syllables. What is a, a, a um, let me let me think of a word right now that is difficult to pronounce. Um, tangerine. For example, I don't know, like uh, like a uh, first or fierce. Like what? Let, let me give you an example. Uh, mandarina in English is tangerine. Yeah, it's easy to pronounce. But maybe if it's difficult for you, como tangerine, ta tanger, como tangerine. Okay, so tangerine, three, tangerine, 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 three. Now say it in two. Tangerine, 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 and two. Now say it in one. Tangerine, tangerine. That's how you practice your, your fluency, uh, the pronunciation. When, when you can't pronounce a word class, break it in syllables. If the word is three syllables, say it in three syllables until ya lo, hasta que lo perfeccionaron in three, then in two, and then in one. And if it's still difficult in one, say it in two. Por ejemplo, uh, let me see. Mayra, ¿cómo se dice refrigerador? Hasta en español es difícil pronunciar eso. Refrigerador. Oh, yes. But actually it's called refrigerator. 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 Yeah. Maybe, maybe it's not difficult to pronounce for you because it's similar in Spanish. It's similar in Spanish, refrigerator, refrigerador. Laughing, laughing. 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 Okay, so you say la thing, la thing, la thing. Two syllables and then say it in one, laughing. Laughing. Y otra cosa que les voy a dar un gran consejo. Una cosa que me encanta del español y no me gusta del inglés. El español no me gusta para nada. O sea, yo estoy tan feliz que nací hablando español porque ustedes ya han oído a alguien que ha hablado inglés y lo puede hablar sin acento. ¿Se lo habla perfecto? Sí. ¿Alguna vez han conocido a alguien que habla otro idioma y ha aprendido el español y lo puede hablar perfecto? No. Yo nunca he conocido a alguien. Never. No. Yo he conocido gente que ha vivido aquí 40, 50 años y le pueden hablar súper bien, pero siempre van a fallar porque el español es tan, tan complicado que ustedes no tienen idea. Imagínense esto. Eat. Comer. Imagine English and Spanish. Eat. Comer. I eat. Tú comes. Pero si es usted, usted come. Ya cambió de comer a come, comes. We eat, comemos. They eat, comen. Quedan, what? Why? Para ellos solo es yo comer, tú comer, él comer, ella comer. It's simple. Mm -hmm. But no, in Spanish, I don't know why we change the verb with every pronoun. Y está la segunda paz, la, la segunda. Vos comes y usted come. Hay que explicar eso cuando usar comes y come. So, Spanish is very complicated. But one thing I like about Spanish, como se escribe, se oye y se lee. Eso sí me gusta. Pupusas, así se escribe. Pupusas, pupusas. 
Eso es tan fácil, pero imagínense nosotros ahora aprendiendo inglés. One. One es uno. Ok, ¿cómo se escribe? One. What? Aquí dice one, teacher. Sí, aquí dice one. Y nada, yo no sé por qué se pronuncia así, one. Porque es O-N-E. Y, y se pronuncia one. Laugh. Ahí estamos diciendo laugh. Se escribe L-A-U-G-H. Nada que ver cómo se pronuncia. Entonces, Mayra o clase, yo lo que les recomiendo es. Por ejemplo, one. Yo lo oigo W-A-N. W-A-N. One. ¿Sí? Yo lo escribiera así. One. Se pronuncia Juan, W-A-N. Y obviamente pongo la, la forma correcta, ¿verdad? Se escribe One. <ríe> Igual es mi nota, solo yo me voy a entender. Laugh. Yo lo oigo L-A-F-F. Laugh. Pero si alguien le ve aquí. Yes? For example, when, when you pronounce uh, uh, words with T, It depends on the position of the T, how you pronounce it. Because, yes, it, it for depends. Example, center, call center and talk. It, it's, 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 it's difficult to know how to pronounce. Yes. If you speak very fast, the T is Eri. If you speak very fast, the T is T. Call center. But if you speak faster, call center. Okay. Yes. Hola. Or um, something is la, the word internet. 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 Uh -huh. internet. Yes. Internet. Or Sana. They say San, Sana instead of Santa. Sana. Uh -huh. Sara Claus. But if you say, but in las canciones, a veces es Santa Claus is coming to okay. town. Yeah. Ahí se oye, dicen Santa, but if you notice, it's a little bit slower. Santa Claus is coming to town. But that, that's what I'm saying. If you speak slow, you pronounce the T the formal way. But if you speak faster, the T becomes ere. Because in, in, in Santa, they omit the T. They don't say it like. They, they, they omit completely the T. <laughs> yes, when you speak, but listen to this to the Christmas songs. Sometimes they pronounce the T correctly. Yes, for example, Santa, Christmas. Mm -hmm, Christmas, yes. Bueno, so, pues. so remember, escribanlo como ustedes lo oyen. En serio, solo ustedes se van a entender sus notas. <laughs> but uh, there are no rules to pronounce the words. No, no. There are no rules. ¿Saben cómo se dice hija en inglés? Daughter. 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 ¿Saben cómo se escribe? Daughter. 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 Nada que ver cómo se pronuncia, right? Entonces, yo lo escribiera así. D-A-R-E-R. Daughter. Daughter. Yeah. Ah, porque así lo oigo yo. Pero obviamente siempre voy, yo entiendo que no es la forma correcta y así es que como yo lo oigo, no es que así se escribe. Y después pusiera siempre la forma como se escribe para similar los dos. Ah, se escribe así, pero se pronuncia así. Entonces yo que ustedes haría eso, porque igual solo ustedes entienden. Por ejemplo, yo, yo, a, veces, yo a veces le enseño a mi esposa las notas que yo tomo cuando estoy interpretando que si a veces yo las vuelvo a ver ya ni me acuerdo qué significan estas notas ajá como solo yo me entiendo como pum, a veces hasta hago dibujos o, o porque vaya por ejemplo cuando dicen es que antes o oh, before pongo B4 B4 o oh, oh, you know I, I start using before es que cuando yo iba para atrás like before y pongo, pongo una flecha para atrás y no sé qué después que puse aquí no pero en el momento me acuerdo ya cuando dos días después veo mis notas ya no me acuerdo cómo. 
yeah, yeah. You use taquigrafía, teacher. <laughs> yes, taquigrafía, yes. <laughs> Le voy a contar algo interesante. Ustedes saben qué es SOS. What is SOS? Auxilio. Is the help. International, mm -hmm. help. International help. But why? What is SOS? Why SOS? Do you know why? No. Okay, there's a theory that that was invented in the Titanic. When the Titanic was sinking, a hey, past progressive, listen. When the Titanic was sinking, mm -hmm. they sent the Morse code, SOS, SOS, that's it. Mm -hmm. People never understood what is SOS. Obviously it was help. <laughs> But maybe they were saying, save our ship mm -hmm. or save our souls. Mm -hmm. It's one of those two. <laughs> because they, they didn't understand what SOS meant, but they understood that the situation was emergency. They needed help. So that's why it quedó internationally SOS. But I think, I think it's more logical, save our ship. <laughs> Yes. I think some of the most code for the S is three points. O is three lines. It's more easy for communication. Yes, because maybe they weren't going to write, please come and get us. We're sinking, blah, 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 blah. So maybe they started speaking like that. SOS, SOS, SOS. You know. They, yeah. So that, that's that's something interesting. So. All right. Okay, class. We'll continue tomorrow. Okay. Okay, teacher. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful Thank night. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Bye. Everybody. Bye. 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 B